everyone and welcome to another Black Ops 2 video. This one I'm telling you how I prestige so quickly because um, I didn't actually run large score streaks. I was running more of the three small ones that get you the most XP. The reason I did this was obviously because some of the high score streaks you're not mostly likely going to get when you're mastering a gun because you may not be an expert with that gun, you may not be very good with it. Um, so you may not play to your full potential. So I'll put on uh, UAV, Hunter Killer and Counter UAV because on Hardcore, a Hunter Killer drone can be quite useful. It can take out two, three people at once. Um, UAV, obviously useful as well, and Counter UAV just gets you quite a lot of uh, XP such as the UAV does. Now, um, the reason I did this was because it adds to your score at the end for the UAV assists and the counter UAV assists. So I get higher scores with them three of the lowest score streaks than what I do sometimes with the three largest. Um, I remember on one of my videos I did a swarm and I got about 5,000 score. With this I didn't get any high score streaks like Warthog, Swarm, Low Star, nothing like that. But I still managed to get a 6,000 score and um, I didn't even get that many kills either. Um, I think I only finished it like 54 for 20, which um, isn't overly amazing, but it's more the fact that I got so many assist points off of my score streaks to why it bumped my score up a load. Now, um, also what I did was try and get as many kill confirms as possible. Don't worry about if you're going to die, just run out there, grab as many as you can, because um, <coughs> it's not like... UAV and that are difficult to get. They're only a couple of hundred um, score uh, to be able to get them. And if you run out and collect like two or three tags, you will be like two thirds of the way there. So it's all good. Um, and then once, obviously, once you've got your UAV up and you throw your hunter killer, you're more than likely to get your counter UAV with it. And once your UAV is in the air as well, it makes it much easier because you can see where the enemy are, unless they are running ghost. So, these games always bumped me up with my score quite a lot. And as you can see, I'm using a gun that I've not got gold or diamond on. So, I'm try I was trying to master this one. I was really very close to mastering it. I think I did all the headshots. So, this game I was getting all the double kills and things like that. Um, and at the end of this game, I finished with 30,000 XP. Uh, I didn't have that recorded because this is on theatre again because I wasn't expecting to get such uh, a huge amount of experience from the game and I was just doing it because I was so close to Master Prestige. I was 10th Prestige, level 54 here. So um, I just continued playing, just messing around sort of thing. wasn't really concentrating or trying to get good gameplays to be able to upload. I just wanted to get to Master Prestige to be able to, to get my high score streaks on and not worry about experience every game so that's what I do now I don't have to worry about XP because I'm up at Master Prestige I can just run anything I want don't have to master guns if I don't want to uh, I still do it though just because I like the idea of having diamond on the gun and everything so with this as you can see I've got my skull camo there each one of those I've got 2500 XP from I do get quite a few of them completed in this game I think I get about four of them done so that's, oh, I'm trying to do quick maths here, I think that's about 10,000 10, experience just from this gun uh, with them. Uh, so that's that's quite a lot from a challenge, from doing challenges as well. And then I don't know how many uh, XP I would have got from the counter UAV and UAV assist, but I know that would have been minimum of about 500, because the amount of them I put up in the air and then the amount of team uh, uh, kills my team gets with them up is quite good. They always run better on small maps like Hijacked and Grind because your team gets more and more kills on them rather than the large maps because there's less likely chance you're going to run into people and uh, so that means there's going to be a lot less kills in the game which means you're going to get very little uh, assist points off of the Oh, sorry, I've got hiccups now. Off your UAV and counter UAV. <coughs> so, it's always good to be able to run, run those, because it's not only helping you out, it's helping your team out as well, which means you're going to get a victory. And it's always good to get a victory, because at the end, with the badges, you get extra XP from getting the victory from that. 
So I was just commonly doing the best I could to get as much experience per game, and that's why um, I may not have mastered Prestige quickly as some of the other YouTube gamers was, like they probably took a month or two to do it with the game coming out, whereas I've took up to March now, when did it come out? November, December, January, February, March, so it took me four months, but I've looked on the leaderboards and everything, My f one of my friends on there took about nine days, eight, nine days to get to Master Prestige, whereas I took about seven, so I've done it pretty quickly for the amount of time I've spent playing Call of Duty, and uh, so it's always good to be able to say to your friends, oh yeah, I've got to Master Prestige now, because it's always always good to get up there. I've never done it before, the only time I've been uh, full prestige was on World of War, and that was because someone I knew hacked the game, so they managed to, they found a glitch and then it managed to get you up there, <coughs> get you up there, <coughs> oh dear. Um, but I'm not proud of that. I've, I didn't really find any achievement from it. Whereas with this, I found more achievement in me doing doing it myself. It's more impressive to be able to say, "Oh yeah, I did that," without cheating or without hacks or without glitches, because it means you've had to do it on your own accord, which is much more harder, obviously. So um, I've also worked out what my score per minute was at that point of me, without me doing gun masteries. It was only about. 300, but um, even with me doing gun masteries and running the low XP, my score per minute went up to about 300 and something. And I know weekly, uh, about two weeks ago, I had my score per minute on kill confirmed was about 400 and something. So to have that amount of score per minute is really good. And games average, say game average is about 10 minutes, that means you want to get at least 400 score per minute to have 4,000 a game. Which is, um, I know it's quite difficult to do, especially on big maps, because obviously you won't be around the enemy as much as you are on small maps. This is theoretically a really small map compared to some of them. Um, so that's why I like it so much, because as, even though there's a lot of snipers, there's a certain way you can just run this map. I didn't bother running this map how I usually did, uh, how I usually do, sorry, because I just wanted to get out there and try and get a load of kills. I wasn't trying to. Uh, get a score streak in or anything. The way I do score streaks on this, if I'm doing a high one, is I always run the far edge of the map over there by the building, uh, rather than running through the middle and on this side of the map, because there's always a sniper up on the uh, plane jetty, jetty thing, I don't know what it is, the plane bit that goes up in the air, so it goes up. So um, I always stay away from that. Because uh, that bit over there, because <laughs> there's always a sniper on it, you're guaranteed a sniper every game sat on there. And uh, that's why I stay away from it. But on this, I just sort of, I was like, no, I just want to run up, try and get as many kill confirms as possible. Because obviously, the closer you get to, to the enemy, uh, the easier it will be to get the kill confirmed after you kill, kill them as well. Because more than likely, one of their teammates, the enemy's teammates, will see that they've died, and they will click on to there's a tag down obviously with the 25 XP uh, you they will run over and try and get it and obviously to stop you from winning as well so the closer you are the easier it is to get the uh, kill confirmed which is 100 XP which is more than the kill on this it's double the kill so with the kill and the kill confirmed it is 150 XP which is brilliant really because um, a, a level is about 40,000 to 50,000 XP when you get really high. So uh, if you average about 30 kills a game, you're going to be getting silly, silly amounts of XP for the confirms, the kills, the UAV assists, counter UAV assists, and then you've got the hunter killer kills, and then also you've got the gun masteries. So you're going to get loads and loads of XP. I used to average about 13,000 XP a game, uh, which only it was only taking me four games to sort of level up. Uh, which is why I've got to a master prestige, and then that's without games where I do like this one where I get 30,000 at the end, which is pretty much a whole level. You're going to fly up and get there really quickly, and I know a lot of people have already got to master prestige on this game. It's uh, probably the easiest one to get to master prestige with on all of the Call of Duties because the other ones are really high up and you have to get to high levels as well. So this one, the l levels have been lowered, you have to get a lot less XP. But it's still a lot difficult. There are still people out there second prestige and everything. 
So uh, I just thought I'd give you my tips on how I do it, and you can see it's in the theatre as the screen dimmed again. I'm such a noob. But uh, I didn't actually finish with a huge KD ratio. I finished 54 for 20, I think I said. Hopefully I'll be right, because uh, it stopped at the minute on my screen because it's jumping over a clip bit. But um, hopefully this has helped you out. Do leave a like if it has, um, and please do subscribe to my channel as well. Follow me on Twitter, because that's where I'm always putting bits and pieces. And I'm going to end the video here. So cheers for watching. I'll be back again soon with more. Speak to you all again soon. Bye-bye.